Hey everybody, I'm here. Um, I just wanted to, uh, I don't know why I'm so repetitive with you, sorry, with each video, but I just wanted to make that clear. I can't think of any sayings with what I say. So I just say, hey everybody, I just wanted to share all that stuff. So I don't really mean that, it's just a habit. And um, if I think of any new things and write them down, I'll come up with that. Anyways, I'm going to show you on this computer, Let's see if it's too bright for you, um, information from PETA. Now PETA, don't get me wrong, it's a good website to know about because they do have some useful information that everyone needs to know. It's not my favorite company because of the approaches they take and uh, I could go on and on but I'm just going to make this video quite as uh, fast as I can. So um, this part it says is there a squirrel in your makeup bag? It says um, brush up on synthetic makeup brushes and you know how in the be very beginning of my videos I said I didn't want any um, you know, makeup brushes that were made out of any kind of hair. Even though I have a few that are, I don't want to be hypocritical and say that I don't because I do. And I got like one that was for free. It's still bad if you don't know how those animals you know, got in your palette. So it's saying here... These are the good synthetic brands, and I'll just read them out to you. Um, I'll put the links on the side as well once I'm done. The Body Shop, Denise Chaplin, New York City. These are all brands that you can buy from. Echo Bella Botanicals, Paris Presents Echo Tools, Garden Botanica, Origins Natural Sources, Urban Decay, Avida, Hard Candy, Sevi Cosmetics, Velana Minerals, Afterglow, and Jennifer Campaign Cosmetics. Now I'm sure there's more and they said please write to your favorite makeup companies that still use real animal hair in their brushes and ask them to switch to Taclon fibers. Email us if your favorite cruelty free company makes vegan brushes but is missing from our list. We'd love to add it. Now I know that MAC has synthetic brushes. I'm surprised they don't have it on here. But um, yeah, just feel free to email them on that. Um, on the side they have cruelty free companies, which is what I'm going to go to. Hold on here. Um, hmm. Okay, here's something, actually, something else. It says, what's cruel about juice? It says, uh, it has a whole article about how mice are, you know, suffering. It's very gruesome, uh, suffering because of juice. And they say the good companies that have signed off and don't do these anymore are Palm, the pomegranate, uh, Welch's Foods, Ocean Spray, Naked Juice, Old Orchard Brand, Fruit So, Lakewood, Palm Great, Whole Foods Market, Safeway, Sun Sweet, Sunny Delight, Tampico, Campbell Soup, Fresh Co., Miss Clark's Food, Bolt House Farms, Cascadian Farm, Newman Zone, Organic Valley Jamba Juice, Della Natura, Wild Oats, Grano Vita UK, Inzone Brands and Langer Juice Company. So there's, I'm sure there's more to add to that. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see what else I can find. Sorry about the wait, I'm just trying to hurry it up. You know what? I might do another video because it's taking too long and I don't want you guys waiting. So, oh, and um, yeah, that's it. I'll just leave it at that. But anyways, there's a difference between cruelty-free and safe cosmetics that don't have any animal or whatever. And the safe cosmetics that, it can get confusing, believe me. The safe cosmetics that are good for you 
and all that stuff and don't have any animals are usually from the health food store. You just have to read the ingredients and things like that. They don't have any chemicals. And those are the best cosmetics. They may be really expensive most of the time, but you can also find cheaper brands like Alba Botanica, Avalon Organics, things like that. So um, I'll get back to you about the other video. And that's about it. Thanks.